Hello guys and welcome to another Rotorycraft tutorial. Today I will go through the CVT unit and I will do so in an example with the extractor which you already know everything about. If not I have a separate tutorial about that. Link is in the description. So the difference between a gearbox and a CVT unit is that the the CVT unit is much more advanced. You can change the uh, the ratio in a completely different way compared to the gearbox, which has only two modes: either gear up or gear down, with the the specific ratio for for the gearbox. And also, the gearbox consumes lubricant per all the time. So let's remove that and placed the CVT unit here. Did I get opposite side? Okay, anyway, if we look in the unit, we have an interface here and we have a lubricant level over here. So I can begin with filling up with lube. And this bucket of lubricant will not be consumed. It is so it's maintenance free, so to say. You can set it in two different modes. Either you control it with redstone and then you have two modes where you can change between torque and speed in different ratios. Or you can set it manually. But as you can see, I can't set it to more than one. To do that, I will have to use these belts. I put them in the in these slots and now you can see it two is valid. If I remove it, two is not valid anymore. And I can change the, to between speed and torque as I want to. Or I can change it so that redstone signal means speed and no signal means torque. So let's take some crystals and start the engine. Now we can see 65 kilowatts and of course we have the same thing here but torque and speed well they won't change since we only have one but if we change to two times the speed and two times the torque with redstone signal on and off you can see the torque toggle between 256 and 64 and the speed of course toggles between 1 kilo radians per second and 256. And if you continue to fill up with these belts you can get 31 in total to fill it up. You can change the ratio really high. 32 is the maximum or you can change it to have 16 times speed and 8 times torque for example so state on means that we have 16 times the speed and off means that the torque is 8 times so let's change this to 4 times the torque there are and have some gold ore to place in here the extractor has now fulfilled or the the power has fulfilled the requirements for stage one and four and as soon as this gold ore is finished in the in the first step it's time for the second step and then I simply switch the lever and now we have enough speed and torque for the second step and the third of course and after that I can change back so the, the big benefit of having having a CVT unit is of course that it consumes no lubrication 
and you can set it to different two different modes you don't have to do, be speed and torque it can be speed and speed or you can also do it in in steps so for example 21 times the torque is uh, is not possible to reach with that exact number by only doing four times or eight times or 16 times and so on but it's still manual work and I still have toggle between one mode and the other so let's take a look on a completely different setup that I prepared I'm using redstone repeaters to generate the on and off signal automatically you can use lots of different mods that uh, have their own timers but this one has a slightly longer on time compared to the off time and to power this setup I have four gas turbines very noisy so I have muffled them each one outputting 67 megawatts of power and you can compare that with the 65 kilowatts over here so a total of 268 megawatts and the CVT unit I have between 8 and 32 times speed here we can see the two different modes we have 512 newton meters that's enough for that's uh, the requirement for uh, stage one so I will use that for stage one and four and for the, the stage two and three they are always fulfilled but uh, it will be much much faster in the off mode but the off mode is also shorter so that kind of sums up so let's take a look on how it can be higher a chest with uh, lots of ores and we can start outputting them to or inserting them into the extractor and here we can see the extractor in action toggling between the two different modes and <laughs> doing the work insanely fast you're almost halfway through the chest so in one mode the stage one and four will work and the other one they won't work and in the two in the well stage two and three will always work but it will be faster in when uh, when stage one and four is off i hope you understand that so that's the cvt unit i hope you understand everything and uh, it makes the extractor setup so much more automated and convenient and with the correct amount of power also extremely fast okay that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next one